and we appreciate all the sponsor support as well. This fight is brought to you by PatinoDiet.com, and it is going to be a throwdown. First up, making his way to the cage, fighting out of the right corner. Put your hands together for Giovanni Mojo. Giovanni Malcho making his way to the cage. Weighed in at 140.4 pounds. 24 years old, five foot, eight inches tall. Coming to us by way of Miami. Glad we could turn up the heat and humidity for him today. His last fight was a decision loss to Miguel Torres. This is a guy who is no stranger to high levels of competition. And he's wasting no time getting himself in the cage. Hernandez fighting at his own backyard. Coming to us out of Clinton Township. Professional record of five and two, and he always brings half the crowd. This one being no exception. Have the privilege and pleasure of watching Mike from his first fight on, and he just keeps getting more and more exciting. I do have to have a conversation with him about his walkout music. Mikey walking past the cage entrance. Team Touch Top Notch, 
fight fans when we get started Giovanni Mojo fighting out of the red corner black fight shorts Mikey the Hurricane Hernandez fighting out of the blue corner red white and star spangled <laughs> blue Muay Thai shorts you know the experience of Giovanni Mojo comes in we've fought a lot of tough guys but Hernandez I mean one of the most exciting fighters we have out of Michigan everyone just looks forward to him fighting Puts his hands together. He just got to sometimes think defense. Throw your punches, get under, and keep, keep moving, and be well, aggressive. That's one of those guys, if you hit him, his natural response, yeah, subconscious, fight. is the three-piece you back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> The fight or flight, flight does not exist in his world. And he's got to just jump on his man right there. This is where just be aggressive, make him fight backing up. Well, he's got to be careful, too, that he doesn't get overly impressed by the pedigree of the guy that he's fighting. You know, and that's, we had a big talk because Mike hates to train and hates to fight. He does it for the fans. That's the one thing he always says. And that's where he's just got to keep coming forward and be aggressive. Let his hands go. Well, now, I remember Mike's first amateur fight. He's a friend of Ben Lagman's, and Ben had a friend that just wanted to fight. And that was Mike. He didn't want to train. <laughs> no. He just wanted to get in there and fight. He's been good, though. I mean, we've been meeting up three, four times a week. I mean, he's been putting in his hours. The one thing is, like, put the hands high and let your hands go from there, and he's well, doing he's a great a job. Well, he's a lot less flat-footed than he's been in the past. Yeah. He's doing a great job. You know, drives an hour just to come to us at Michigan Top Team and puts he's also in that doing time. doing a great job of not moving in straight lines. You know, and, yeah, Giovanni's feet really flat. I think Mike's just got to follow him back and just let his hands go. The first time Mike clips him, you I know, think we'll see a lot of that. He just needs that confidence right now. And he's been throwing his punches clean. I mean, they're returning to his face. He's doing a good job. And he's just got to come forward and be aggressive. He's got to stop worrying about what Giovanni has in store for him and make Giovanni worry about him. Or just throw some of those leg kicks of his to that lead leg, which is out there a little too far. There's a little too much weight on it. There's no way it's going to get retracted quick enough. You know, Mike's just got to be first. He's just got to be first. No, we don't even need that kind of sportsmanship. We've just got to keep going. Now, Giovanni, a little theatrical. Yeah. I can't tell if he's just a little off or and if that's all part of the act. Where you, as a fighter, if you're training, you can't be so worried about what the other guy's going to do. You've got to go with your game plan and execute. You can't. You don't want to wait. You just got to go. Be first. Come forward. That's why he's got to get get some solid leather in there and build that confidence just a little bit. Yeah, it's just got to come forward. And Giovanni's so flat-footed. I mean, this is where he'll take a few steps back, but I, I wouldn't give him an opportunity to have any confidence. Well, that's why I don't understand why he's not throwing those leg kicks. His leg kicks are brutal. He's got it. He's doing a good job, though, cutting the cage off, you know, not following Giovanni. Well, you know, he's just got to attack. He's finding an angle and just attack. There Get on him go. right there. And great job re finding his space again after he threw. Push his opponent away. Make sure that you don't smother yourself. And now you can hear the crowd getting into it. And, I mean, Mike has to just keep improving his confidence right now. Giovanni hasn't done anything that is to make him that leery. You know what, his, when talking to him beforehand, his concern was, oh, he's fought some really tough guys. That doesn't matter. Styles make fights. Yeah, what was they the outcome of those tough, uh, those tough guys, though? Exactly. You know, I could go get beat by the best in the world, too. That doesn't mean you need to be afraid of me if it, we're in the cage. Exactly, and he's just got to come forward and put his hands together. He did so in the beginning of this round. He did a great job. He's got to stop waiting. Nice. Keeping his elbows in beautifully. 
Got to bring his hands back upstairs. He loves that Superman punch. I mean, he loves just That's hanging around the Michigan top it. team. Yeah. That's the stamen right there. Both of these guys just really tentative, though. Mikey getting the better of it early, but we have yet to see anything from Giovanni other than some theatrical facial expressions. You know, he's got to just stop thinking. You know, and his background is wrestling, so he likes to stand on his feet to impress the crowd, but his background is wrestling, so he's very comfortable on the ground as well. Giovanni doing a good job getting his back on the cage, going to post and try to stand up. Mike Hernandez smothering him here on the side of the cage, looking to suck him back down. we got to make sure Mike's breathing, though, not holding his breath. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. I mean, taking the win in this first round, but more so because Giovanni didn't do anything. Mike has to come out this second round and just be aggressive. Well, I think that after his corner gets in his ear a little bit, and after he realizes that everything that he had thought about his opponent isn't grounded in reality, I think we're going to see the mic that we hope to see the first Well, round. I mean, the trouble with that type of round is does Giovanni come back with confidence because Mike didn't do enough? You know, that's the, that's the trouble. If I'm Giovanni, I barely threw a punch or a kick or did anything. I've got to do something this second round. I mean, you're a fighter. You do train. There's got to be something that you're going to come back with, right? You know, Mike's just got to push the pace. He's just got to come forward and not be so concerned with what's coming back at him. I'm just trying to figure out the whole crazy eyes thing. <laughs> I know. Eyes. You know what? That's what it is. Like, it, it is a little bit about this guy seems a little off. This looks like, I mean, Mike might be worried that he's going to wind up, you know, in pieces in the guy's crawl space. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're smelling his hair and cutting some of it off. <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fight fans, round two getting underway here. Giovanni Moljo, red corner, black fight shorts. Mike the Hurricane Hernandez, blue corner, star spangled Muay Thai shorts. And this is where he's just got to come forward. I mean, he's got to stop worrying. Don't even worry about angles. Just come forward on this guy. He puts his hands together so well. I wouldn't even let Giovanni come forward and throw any kicks. Mike Hernandez still really tentative. You know, Mike just waiting for an opportunity, but to me, the opportunity is there. He, Giovanni hasn't done anything that first round. I mean, his, his feet are nice, he's in and out, but this is, you know, you've got to jump on the man when you know he's throwing one kick at a time, jump on him after he's done. He's got to just let his hands go. And that's the problem. You could get to the point where sometimes you're training, you're doing too much thinking. He's shaking his arms out, looking to relax a little bit, a little bit tight. And there, just put, he's got to just keep putting his hands together. Keeps his elbows in nice, turning everything over beautifully. He's just a little bit on the outside of his range, so none of those shots are really connecting. Yeah, and, and, it, and then we notice this in sparring. He has a tendency to either be on the way on the outside or walks his way in, where you've got to punch or kick your way in just to get inside. He's got to use that double jab to get in. This is the best way to get that double jab. Beautiful nice. shot down the pipe. Jump on him. He's so worried about what's coming back, but what he has to offer is so much harder. Well, again, Giovanni with the theatrical expressions, <laughs> and that's when you know a guy got clipped. You know, and, and Mike throws dynamite. When you talk to his sparring partners, they say he hit so hard. We were in the gym, and he was sparring Cody Stamen, who's in the main event tonight, and <laughs> Cody leg kicked him because he got hit so hard he was just mad and that happens you'll see that in the gym guys don't even intend to throw that hard but they're just that heavy handed well Mike's one of those guys doesn't have a training speed he's a lot like this, Eric Moon this is my issue with Mike he's one of those fighters that has to be cracked in the skull to wake up and I think that's what it's going to take Giovanni's going to have to crack him for him to put his foot on the, the gas and that happens with some fighters that, that's what wakes them up well, he keeps dropping his hands when he's getting kicked. He's going to get hit in the head. 
He's got to just work his way in and stop trying to figure out Giovanni. Just, just get in there. Every time he's attacked, he's been successful. Every time. I mean, and you know, if you want to go to the chest because you worry about the head moving or the head's high, chop him down like a tree. Go to his body. And I mean, the ridiculousness that's coming out of Mojo right now, he should not be intimidated by. No, absolutely not. Every time he clips him, that we get the theatrical response. Mike's just got to do more. He's got to push the pace. And the reason he does this is for the fans and to be exciting. And that's where he's got to take this. He's just got to take it to the excitement level where he puts his hands together. I'll tell you what, he's leaner and thicker than I've ever seen him, too. Mm. You know, for as much as he doesn't like to train, he seems to be taking it a lot more serious than he has. Yeah, he's he works really hard. Like I said, for him to, and he's working with a strength and conditioning coach as well, which is definitely showing. And you can hear his corner, there, Ben, yeah, ben Lagman yelling at him. When he does that jump on him, what is that? Oh, my God. It's just, I feel like we're, this is crazy train. Mike's just got to end it for everybody. A good push off, but he's got to fire after as soon as he regains that range. I'll tell you what, I think he is. Oh, that beautiful left hook. That was awesome. I mean, he landed that clean. Giovanni just took that. I think he is a little stymied by the psychological war that's yeah, being waged I mean, in there. Exactly, but you can't worry. He's got to stop worrying about, like you said, the theatrical aspects of Giovanni. No, he's starting to put three and four and five together. There, and he's got to start going body head because he's covering up, attack that body, let him drop his hands, and then go upstairs and finish it off. There's some leg kicks yes. I like. And you heard that one thunder through the Coliseum here. And Mike's Can I call it a Coliseum? <laughs> sure. Mike's got to push the pace. I mean, he's got to come forward. Well, he's waking up, and this crowd is waking up with him. Yeah, I mean, because he's so accurate, too, when he lets everything go. He's got to understand. Sometimes you have to understand that even if the other guy attacks you, you're doing way more damage because you're so much more accurate. There we go. <laughs> Mike almost looks irritated now. He really does. Now he looks like he's getting angry. Ten, Ten seconds. seconds. Oh! He loves that shot. And I mean, the camera loves it too. That's his Facebook page. That big flying Superman punch. And Ben Lagman giving it back to him out of his corner. You can see Darren Crookshake telling him when he does that, jump on him. I mean, and it's frustrating because we know how strong Mike is. We know how fast he is. It's frustrating for the whole corner to, you know, see him take his time. We, this isn't the fight you take your time. I think we're done watching that. Giovanni with his girlfriend in his corner. And I don't dribbling know how effective water that's everywhere. gonna be. <laughs> no bucket, nothing. <laughs> I can't wait for the day when they say a that roll about me. Of paper There's towel. a girl in the corner. I'd be like, hey, wait a minute. I, w I mean, I wish I was, this is the toughest night for me because I have all these fighters fighting and I can't work the corner. That's the hardest part because right now, I would be in Mike's ear, we'll say, just to keep it PG, telling him to come forward. This guy has nothing, put your hands together and just no mercy. This is where you just gotta go. Well, I'd be Mike's really conditioning's surprised. fantastic. I'd be surprised if we get out of the third round, Kara. Uh, he he should. Because I think a switch was thrown at the end of that second round. And uh, Mike Hernandez seemed to get a little upset with the continued taunting and theatrics of Giovanni Moljo. And Mike's not typically a slow starter. I just think, like you said, he's so concerned about Giovanni, what he's kind of bringing to the table right now. Which is nothing. No, I mean the crazy eyes. That's what it's all about. The crazy eyes, Harry. This is where we don't want Giovanni to gain any confidence. You just got to push him back, see if he can fight backing up. You know, he gets too tall. There's no way he's going to be able to land anything clean backing up. So Mike's just got to come forward and put his hands together. His hands are so clean. Great job at using his range, though, when he does punch. He's not smothering himself. He's not falling in. And typically, wrestlers will fall in because they are always looking for the shot. Looking for the double. But he's, but he's not. He's doing a good job. Well, I'd like to see him continue working that oh, he, leg kick. Oh, he used the spear, followed it with the two. It was a good try there. I would personally go, start going to the chest because he's not landing at the head like he wants to because Giovanni pulls back a little bit. He does this little half step back. So start just smashing him in the chest and then you're gonna find the head. 
We gotta make sure Mike cuts the cage off. He's gotta step to the right when Giovanni's moving there and just attack. He's just gotta, like a bear, just run at him. And put his hands you know, together. He's got Giovanni to the to the cage side. There's nowhere for him to retreat. If if Mike rushes in on him, works his way inside, there's nowhere for Giovanni to go. I just he's giving him too much respect, and he cannot give this guy this much respect because he hasn't done anything to earn it in this fight. Oh, and he does a little sneaky Superman punch, landing a clean right hand. But you got to be able to jump on the man once you hit him. Because you see Giovanni's not reacting once he gets hit. He's not firing back right away like some fighters do. So that means once you hit him, you got to jump on him. Well, I think the pace of this fight is starting to take its toll on Giovanni. Well, this Mojo. was originally scheduled for five. It was scheduled for a title fight, but things changed up. So it's only a three-rounder. But that's where Mike's just got to come forward. Because you know what Giovanni's going to know? I only have a couple minutes to go. I can start putting them together. Mike has to attack. He's thinking too much. You know, he really is. That sums it up perfectly. He's pulling himself too far out. Got to wonder what the what's the warning. Do you have any idea what that was about? No clue. I don't know if he was blowing his nose on the, on the canvas. This is where Mike, a beautiful jab. Follow, he's got to follow it up. He can't stop so much. He's got to attack. I mean, he's going to be frustrated with himself watching this fight because he's going to feel that, you know, that edge of your seat. Attack, attack, attack. He's got great head movement. He's doing a good job, but he's just got to put his hands together. Beautiful left hand, and that's what you want to do. You jab your way in, he's getting in, but there, nice. there, now, finally to the body. He could have finished upstairs, though. And Giovanni trying to be the aggressor, but that's good for him. Mike's just got to put them all together. <laughs> Mike staying intense the whole fight, but a lot of wasted energy with movement so far out of range and not putting anything behind it. Yeah, but you can definitely see your tutelage in there with the, the spear with the left and then <laughs> no. the I nice tight spear. elbows and a nice straight right every time he throws it. Yeah, he's, No more I haymakers mean, from No, him. I know. But sometimes I find, like, working with guys, when they learn more about boxing and about their hands, then they start thinking too much. I've found that, that problem with different, different athletes, and they've got to still be that aggressive person, but now you're putting some clean shots together. This is what Mike's got to do. He's got to get mad. He's got to find the emotion just to come forward because he's got all the skills. Giovanni taunting him now. But this is why Giovanni lasts rounds with, you know, guys. He's fought guys in the UFC. I mean, because he just doesn't do anything but run. Mike now bringing the heavy I, leather. He's got to attack. I almost yelled attack. <laughs> he's got to just come forward. Beautiful leg kicks, and like you said, he should have kept going back to those leg kicks. Well, before Mike knew how to throw a punch, he was chopping down some serious contenders with that lead leg right. kick. But I you mean, know, if, if Giovanni's camp should have said that he should have been leading with the leg kick. I mean, you see Mike has a knee brace. That's Giovanni the one thing you look for. Giovanni was talking to his girlfriend between rounds. <laughs> As she's brushing her hair in the corner. I mean, I want to <laughs> talk to her too, but I'm, I'm not fighting. Steve. What? <laughs> Great movement by Mike, he's cutting off the cage. He's got to attack, just go straight in and get him. And again, you don't want to headhunt. There's no point in headhunting. Go to the body, move things around, and finish him off. 10 seconds, let's see a flying Superman punch yeah. here. <laughs> he's trying to get at him. He's trying to get at him, but he just, he stayed intense, did a lot of movement, but you don't want to do ineffective movement. Because all Giovanni was doing is looking to survive. Dude, this guy's just weird. In addition to physical checks before a fight, there should be some sort of psychological examination. And he just dumped half a bottle of water on his mouthpiece in the Now Giovanni Mojo taunting the crowd.
All right, fight fans. In our co-main event, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the scorecards. Judge Gross, Judge Holiday, and Judge Morrell all scored about 30 to 27 in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. Give it up for Mike, the Hurricane! Congratulations. You know, you, <laughs> you basically set the tone of the fight. It seemed you were a little concerned. It gave him a little bit too much respect in the cage. Talk to me about this fight tonight. I watched his films. He fought a lot of tough guys. A lot of respect for him. He comes into people's hometowns and he fights like a warrior. He's cocky, but I like it. He's a tough kid. He put on a show with me, and I enjoy that with my fans. Well, you, you look very clean in here. Talk to us a little bit about your training leading up to the fight tonight. My training, I mean, I just gotta thank my teammates, every single one of them, Michigan top team. I, I have a lot of doubt in myself. I always don't believe in myself, but these guys are always telling me in the gym, keep going, keep fighting, you got it, and I love them all for it, and I appreciate all your guys' help. Well, you're always exciting to watch. I mean, one of your famous shots, jump in the air, throw that Superman punch. You, you landed it a couple of times. Talk to me about your friends and family here tonight, because what a support system you have. I mean, they're the only reasons I do this. If I make their night one time a year, that's all that matters to me in life. I want them to have fun tonight, and that's why I fight, is so they can have one good time, have a trouble drinks, and enjoy the fight, and I love them all. And talk to me a little bit about who you have to thank for tonight's fight. All my teammates at Michigan Top Team, that's every single one of them, and Kara Rowe, right next to me. She helped me with my hands. She's a world champion, and she got me better with my hands and got me more confident, and I thank her for that too. And a little bit about your sponsors as well, because I know your dad and brother worked their butt off to allow you to fight, and, and that's fantastic. I don't have my papers, so I really can't name all of you, but I love all my sponsors. The, uh, TMI Maintenance, RMH Construction, Paul and my brother Ray. You guys help me with everything. You guys keep me going, and I love all you guys. And Detroit Jiu-Jitsu and Michigan Top Team. Detroit Jiu-Jitsu helps me out Jiu-Jitsu. I'm a little bit more confident on my ground. I'm pretty bad, but I'm getting better, and I thank them for that. Mike, you're always so exciting to watch. We never know what's going to happen. You put your hands together beautifully. Thank you for entertaining us again tonight. Congratulations. Yep, and thank you guys, and thank Giovanni for fighting me. He's a tough kid. Once again, the Hurricane!